Hey guys, so the workout I have for you today is going to be a two-part workout with the first part focusing on core conditioning and the second part focusing on cardio. So for the first section, the core section, we're going to do five different exercises for 30 seconds each. And then we're going to rest for 15 seconds in between each exercise. And then we'll rest again for one full minute in between each round. And today we're going to do three rounds of the core exercises. So the five different exercises we're going to do are going to be a forearm plank, a hollow rock hold, a left side plank, a right side plank, and a superman hold. So all of these exercises are what are called isometric exercises, which means we're going to hold each one nice and still rather than performing dynamic repetitions. So what that's going to do is going to train our muscular endurance for the core as well as the other parts of the body um, and the legs and the arms that are involved given depending on each movement that we're doing. And I'm going to show in some separate clips what those exercises will look like down on the ground. The second part of today's workout is the cardio portion. So the cardio workout today is nice and simple. It's three really good, highly effective full body movements um, that we're going to do. Each movement is going to be 10 repetitions each. And we're going to do this exercise or these exercises in an AMRAP fashion, as you can see in the description. So we're going to do 15 minute AMRAP, which means as many rounds as possible. So the way this is going to work is you're going to set a timer for 15 minutes on your phone and you're going to perform each of the three exercises, 10 repetitions each, as many cycles or times through as you possibly can in that 15 minute time period. The goal is to take as little break as possible during this part to really push yourself and see how many rounds you can do. So the three exercises we're going to do in this circuit are going to be a kettlebell swing, a jump squat, and then in and outs, which is another core based exercise that we'll get back on the ground to do. So for the first exercise, the kettlebell swing, we're going to grab our kettlebell. We're going to stand, I'll show you side facing. We're going to stand hips width apart, make sure the weight's in the heels. And remember a kettlebell swing is an exercise that's initiated with a hip hinge motion and it's going to work everything in the posterior side of the body. So from the hamstrings to the glutes to the lower and upper back muscles um, and everything in between. So we're going to hinge from the hips, bring the kettlebell through the knees and then pop the hips to bring the kettlebell in an upward trajectory toward the chest. And it's going to end about eye level, maybe a little lower. So during this, you want to make sure that you're really maximizing that hip snap on the way up keeping the back nice and straight and controlling the descent of the kettlebell. Now, if you don't have a kettlebell, many of you may not, a good alternative is a lovely bottle of laundry detergent. Um, if you don't have this, you can use a jug of milk, a jug of juice, anything that you have around the house that has a handle or something on it that you can grip that has some weight to it. Now, if you have any of these things around the house and they're low on contents or empty, you can always fill them back up with water, rice, sand, rocks, any, anything you have where you can get your hands on that has some weight to it to make it challenging for you. So again, the kettlebell swing, hinge from the hips, and then snap the hips upward, bringing the kettlebell or the laundry detergent up to about eye level, maybe slightly lower. Second movement is our jump squat. So for the jump squat, side view, we're going to bring the feet hips width apart, hinge from the hips again, bring the butt back, drop into the heels, and then come up off the ground, extending the hips and then rolling off of the ball of the foot and the toes to come off the ground about two to three inches each time. Landing back and dropping into the heel for the next squat. Now a good way to modify that movement if you need to is to remove the jump and just do body weight squats. So finally, our in and outs. We'll get back on the ground, just like we did for our core section of our workout. We're gonna sit up nice and tall in the seated position and then we'll lean back, hinging from the hips to open up the chest, lift the legs off the ground and then pull the knees in push the legs away. And we're going to repeat that motion, drawing the knees in and extending out. Now, if you need to modify the in and outs, you can sit back, same starting position and do elevated toe dips. So lift the legs up and then alternate hinging from the hip and dipping one set of toes down toward the ground, followed by the other. And that's a good way to modify the regular in and out movement. So those are your three cardio exercises for today's cardio portion of the workout. Good luck.